Hello friends, here is one of our equipment I am going to show you. At the moment I am standing in Lafarge Cement Group. So in the cement industry, you know, these belt conveyors, dropping chutes and uh, other same sort of equipment is very common. So time to time I am uploading such videos for your information. So at the moment I am in Lafarge Group. Here is a belt conveyor, it's a tail end and at the tail end you know there is an equipment, an instrument installed over here. This is a speed sensor. A light you can see over here, light indication, it is taking a um, moment signal, I mean to say this drum is in moment, it is running, it is in rotation, so that's why this light is coming and it is telling to the PLC system that the system is okay, the belt is intacted and everything is okay and now the running speed feedback is going to the PLC system. Here is the bearing, here is another supporting bearing and here is the tail and drum. So this is a belt conveyor taking the material. This is taking clinker material. Now I will take you to the top of this equipment. Here this material is dropping to this chute. This dropping chute, this clinker material is dropping. I will show you upside while I will go upstairs then I am showing you. So here is another dropping chute. This is silo, under the silo. This is a very 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 large building, very high building at the height of say 100 or 200 meters. So the clinker material is dropping down. These are the needles. This is a sort of wall. These are opened, these are closed. So according to the needs, they are opening and closing. The production people, according to the process needs. So here, this material is dropping. I mean, from here they are controlling. And the next control is the belt speed, belt speed of this uh, wave feeder. This is known as wave feeder. This is weighing. So this is from shank. Shank Germany. So the material is dropping as you know. This is clinker material. Clinker material is dropping to the dropping chute. Here is the dropping chute and this is dropping on the belt and from the belt here the material is taken to the mill. So this is the way it works. Hopefully friends you people uh, watched this video and you learned something from this video. If you learned something from this video give a big thumbs up. Subscribe on my channel. Press on bell, bell icon so you will get notifications for each upload. I mean this equipment has some certain other uh, instruments I am going to show you in a little moment. Here is the motor which is running this uh, uh, belt conveyor, a small belt conveyor which is on the wave feeder uh, shank process as you can see here. And this shank process, this motor is, this frequency inverter motor, frequency drive motor, here is the reducer, reducer gearbox, transmission. And then uh, these, these are the control switches signal is feeding back. This is a complete system. Here is the control unit for this one and the calibration is performed over here. Uh, so according to the needs, I mean to say according to the process needs, material is taken from here. If material is going less, the speed is increased. So more material will go in. If material is uh, going more, then the speed is reduced by this motor, by frequency inverter. So less material will go in. Uh, so this way control is performed and weighing is performed all the time. So this is for weighing and controlling. Uh, people, if you like this video, give a big thumbs up, subscribe on my channel, press the bell icon so you will get notifications. Thank you for watching.